Hello and welcome back to our ES6 introduction on Free Code Camp. This is Create Strings Using Template Literals. A new feature of ES6 is the Template Literal. This is a special type of string that makes creating complex strings easier. Template Literals allow you to create multi-line strings and to use string interpolation features to create strings. Consider the code below. We have const, which is a person object which contains the key name with the string Zodiac Hasbro and the key age with the value 56. Template literal with multi-line and string interpolation. So here we have const and it's greeting and it is a template literal uh, string. And it says hello my name is and it is using uh, string interpolation which means it's grabbing uh, from person the name and inserting it within our string here same thing uh, here and notice it is using back ticks as opposed to quotes which is what we're used to um, console.log uh, we console log greeting it should print hello my name is Zodiac Hasbro I am 56 years old so a lot of things happened here. Firstly, the example uses backticks, not quotes, to wrap the string. Secondly, notice that the string is multi-line both in the code and the output. This saves inserting backslash n within strings. The syntax here used above is a placeholder. Basically, you won't have to use concatenation with the plus operator anymore to add variables to strings just drop the variable in the template string and wrap it with dollar sign opening and closing curly brace similarly you can include other expressions in your string literal for example you could do two variables and add them together within there and whatever the uh, they add up to be will show up as the value this new way of creating strings gives you more flexibility to create ro robust strings use template literal syntax with backticks to display each entry of the result objects failure array each entry should be wrapped inside uh, an li element with the class attribute text warning and listed within the result display array use an iterator method any kind of loop to get this or the desired output so if I zoom out or move this over, we have this result object which has three arrays within it. Here it's telling us to uh, display each entry in the failure within the list item. So we have this make list function. What else we got here? Result display R. Uh, that's within this array and then outside of our function we do have this result display array which calls our function and we pass into the function result.failure which is going to be the this array so an array is being passed into make list which makes sense because our function is called make list and it takes an r uh, argument so if we do pass in this array, once this array is inside of here, change code below this line, we want to erase that. This result display array, we could use a, like a for loop of, of a kind to loop through on these three and create a list item, but even cleaner and easier we can do a map and if we map through that array we're able to do that by doing r dot map right and what map is it going to do it's going to go through uh, that array that we passed in which is result dot failure so it'll go through the first uh, item in that array which is no var so within r dot map, we could call this something I don't know string, um, and that's going to be passed in there. Then we have our back ticks. So 
of the back ticks, and then it's going to be a list item class of text warning. And then we use our interpolation, which is where's my dollar sign curly brace and curly brace and we called it string so you should probably choose way better names than that but we then close our list item and let's look at our logic here array is passed in first value is passed in as string we create list item uh, with class text warning and the string uh, value that we're currently at should be put in to the list item there. Okay, so I mean, I, I think that's correct, but to know for sure, under here, we could console log and pass in our result display array and we did get something to print out and we have our first list item and we did get no var and then we get var on top and then we get line break so it does seem to me that we are we did use template literal syntax with backticks to display each entry so there's each in in tree uh, and it should be wrapped inside in list item which it is with the class attribute text warning it is I think we passed this let's try it we did pass it so a lot of stuff we learned uh, but basically template literals um, where we're used to using quotes for our strings we use back ticks uh, with template literals um, we're able to within there use interpolation to grab values um, that are passed in if it's within the function which is what we did here and we're able to use that within uh, the function and use it within our string uh, using this nice syntax as long as you guys are, are learning that you guys are understanding template literals uh, it, it could be kind of just weird at first, but look, go through this lesson a couple times, go online, and and there's plenty of, you know, W3 schools um, lessons on template literals, and yeah, if you're getting that, I'll see you in the next one.